Hello, Nina speaking. Hello, Nina. This is Dr. Case. Hey, I could use a little help today. Could you head over to the lab to complete some tests for me? Sure, Doc. I'll be there shortly. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. So, Dr. Case, what kind of tests are these? Well, lately I've been working with nanotechnology. Wow, sounds interesting. Indeed it is. One thing I have been testing is a carbon nanotube that could lift a truck. A whole truck? Yes, but first I had to get the truck up onto the platform. That is way cool. So will I be doing some tests in nanotechnology? Yes, Nina. Recently, First Labs has been creating a space elevator. The test is ready and waiting for you at the lab. Um, Dr. Case? What's that? That's a cat. No, the big red thing. Oh, that's the space elevator test. You need to push in the release lever to activate it. Now this is a special new stain-resistant fabric researchers made using nanotechnology. What will they use this fabric for? Anything, really. Well, I take my cap off to them for such a great discovery. Very funny, Nina. They've asked that we run some tests to see how effective it is at deflecting dirt. All right, Doc. All set with this test. Okay. For the next test, Nina, you will have to use a Super Scope 5000. So, what do I have to do? Use the mini bot to release the buckyball, which will heal the bone. But what if the buckyball misses the bad spot? Don't worry, Nina. The buckyball is specifically designed to find the bad spot. Way cool. All right, Nina. For the next test, you will need to remove the white atoms. Oops. Uh, Dr. Case? What happened? Why are you here? You've been shrunk down to the molecular level. Molecular level? Yes, you accidentally hit the button that controls my matter compressor machine. I made the same mistake last night. So, are we stuck here? Well, maybe not. But while we're here, we might as well finish the test we were running. You will need to remove some of the white atoms from the table. Lucky enough for us, I shrunk the Getagrip 400 yesterday. All set, Dr. Case. Good. Now, the other day I got my nano tip stuck while I was probing a material. Let's see if we can get it free. It's stuck in there good. How can we get it out? Hmm, why don't you try my prototype molecular actuator? Whew, we did it. That was tough. So what do I have left to do? Well, yesterday I noticed some carbon atoms that were ready to form a carbon nanotube. Let's go start the process. Okay. Hmm, it's pretty tough to move. Let's keep trying. So, Dr. Case, how are we going to get big again? There's a molecular motor that has a battery we could use to power my matter normalizing machine. It needs an ATP molecule to run, and I know where a couple are. Let's go get them. Hmm, do you smell pizza? Yeah, are you sure these are the right molecules? Oh my, these must be the molecules from the pizza I ate last night. The real ATP molecules must be further behind us. Oops, Nina, can you activate it? Sure, Doc. Wow! Thank goodness we're big again. So, 
Do you have a new perspective of what molecules are really capable of? Yeah, I never realized that such small things could be used in so many different ways. Yes, nanotechnology really is a wonder. Well, I'm all set for today. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Dr. Case. It was fun. Feel free to drop by anytime. I have some powerful new challenges for you next time. All right, but for now, I need to go feed my cat and dog. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Uh, Dr. Case, what happened? Uh, Dr. Case, how are we going to get the truck out of the lab?